Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to present the topic criteria for validity of science curriculum. So a science curriculum apart from the other uh, curriculum of other disciplines, it should have some additional criteria to be satisfied to be a better science curriculum. And for this presentation, the National Curriculum Framework 2005 and its position paper on science education has been taken as the basis to identify various criteria for validity of a science curriculum. So, and according to that position paper on science education of NCF 2005, there are different types of validities mentioned in the document such as cognitive validity, content validity, process validity, historical validity, environmental validity and ethical validity. So these six types of validity shall be satisfied by a good science curriculum. When all these validities are properly integrated or satisfied by a curriculum, science curriculum, then only we can say it as a standard uh, science curriculum. So cognitive, content, process, historical, environmental and ethical validity. So now let us uh, take... Uh, each of these validity type one by one. So cognitive validity. Cognition, you know, with respect to the mental stage of development of the child, naturally it should be uh, related to the age or stage specific to the children. So regarding the cognitive level at uh, what cognitive stage the child is or at, at which age group the child belongs or the which developmental stage is in the child or which school stage is the child now. So the curriculum should be specific to the specific cognitive level of the learner child here whether it is early childhood or in elementary stage or in uh, middle stage or secondary stage so in accordance with the stage or the level of the cognitive stage of the child the proposed curriculum proposed science curriculum shall be in congruence with the cognitive level of the child then only we can say it is a valid curriculum. So the uh, inclusions, contents in the curriculum shall be well matched with the cognitive level of the child. And it also mentioned that at any stage or at any level, we shall begin with the basics. First to introduce the basics, then only we should go to the advanced or more complex uh, concepts. So that kind of, that type of uh, sequencing of content or presentation of uh, content also is uh, highly significant because there is a logical sequence for everything. So in order to go along with that logical sequence and students should properly understand that appropriate sequence so that beginning from basics is highly essential that is according to uh, in accordance with the thinking pattern or thinking process of uh, learner as well so that's about cognitive validity now let us see content validity so the nature of the content that should be incorporated in a science curriculum and the content shall be significant correct accurate appropriate 
and scientific. So significant content, the content included in the curriculum shall be significant. It should have some uh, direct impact in the life of the learner. That enhances the significance of the content. There is uh, not much uh, emphasis, not much uh, relevance when we are uh, incorporating more and more theoretical content. And the content shall be some implication, more implication, not some implication, and have more implication uh, or more uh, practical side in the daily life of the learner. And the content shall be, and it must be correct. The information provided should be correct and up to date. And uh, what is the unique feature of science is that the it is it keeps on uh, changing. So the information today shall not be the correct information of tomorrow. So similar to the case of yesterday as well. So the content shall be correct and up to date. It should be accurate. That accuracy of content is highly uh, valid in the case of a science curriculum. And it shall be appropriate, appropriate to the level and background of the learner. And uh, many of the time we can see in the textbooks of science, uh, examples are uh, cited from or illustrations are given from in the countries or continents which have no exposure or no, no experience to the children. So there shall be that appropriateness of content as well as illustrations in the curriculum appropriate to the background of the learner, experience of the learner, location of the learner, etc. And the content shall be scientific in all respects. So these are some of the concerns regarding content validity. So if you want to you know, grade the content of a science curriculum as valid, it should satisfy the sub-criteria such as significance, correctness, accuracy, appropriateness, and scientific. Now let us see process validity. Science itself is a process, you know. So what should be the nature of processes within a science curriculum? So the approach to learning itself is proposed in NCF 2005, especially for science is learning to learn. So that's the basic process. How to learn, that is learning to learn is the basic process or basic approach mentioned in the uh, curriculum framework and there shall be activities which should engage the learners into the learning process. So engaging activities shall be there. So, so that's uh, one major criterion for uh, processes in a science curriculum. Uh, then there shall be provision for application of theoretical knowledge. So mere theoretical knowledge has no meaning in science. It shall be applied. So there shall be natural provisions for applying such theoretical information or theoretical knowledge given. And the processes shall develop curiosity, creativity, and scientific attitude. So the process included in the curriculum shall satisfy the sub criteria such as it should evoke curiosity in children, it should develop creativity as well as it foster scientific attitude. And moreover, the process in a science curriculum, the processes in a science curriculum shall be for construction of scientific knowledge. So through process, a learner uh, reach up to or develop scientific knowledge. So a process, a good process itself is a good product in science education. So when a science curriculum satisfied all these 
uh, conditions or the sub criteria uh, such as activities of an engaging nature applicability of knowledge given uh, provision for developing curiosity creativity and attitude as well as for construction of knowledge scientifically so these are the concerns about process validity then the next type of validity is historical validity so the historical development of science that's very important so the basic uh, aspect of every discipline is that the learner should be aware of the historical development of that specific discipline with science as no exception because science has a long history so how these uh, things that what we today are seeing experiencing it should have a long history a long background so that background uh, whether this background is properly traced in the curriculum or mentioned in the curriculum is highly valid then the efforts of scientists at various phases of this development at the early stages of development of science the scientists are uh, suffered a lot for the establishment of the discipline of science for conducting that uh, make the people believe that science is something different and something concrete and it provides uh, some uh, enhancement in quality of life of people etc the, the scientists of uh, of the past they suffered a lot so the what are the efforts and at present also a scientist spent uh, the full life span for various uh, discoveries so their efforts shall be properly uh, mentioned then evidences science it is based on uh, development of science and existence of science and growth of science is based on evidences so the on the basis of evidence of science continue to accept something or continue to reject something or accept something new or reject something new we can see in the case of this uh, present covid 19 infection itself there are uh, studies are going on in various uh, areas of this particular viral uh, infection pandemic and new and new uh, informations new or new inventions are coming up on the basis of that evidences so uh, similarly there are evidences from the past the natural selection darwin's natural selection uh, theory is still operated in the case of this present pandemic as well so that evidences from the past evidences over a period of time shall be properly addressed in the curriculum then the inventions over time so the invention you know the uh, invention of cell invention of microscope and then invention of electron microscope and there are a series of inventions now more and more sophisticated uh, materials uh, techniques technologies etc uh, so that inventions over time and uh, whether all these inf- inventions and the implications of the in- these inventions on science as well as life that shall be properly incorporated or uh, pointed out in the curriculum and the technological development technological development with uh, regarding the uh, biochemical uh, devices uh, biomedical devices then different types of uh, approaches biochemical approaches biochemical analysis Uh, those were not uh, in the past but different uh, types of processes technological means in the in terms of devices as well as in terms of approaches such advancement that also shall be uh, properly incorporated integrated in the curriculum when we uh, should state that the curriculum is historically valid then environmental validity is, is the another type of validity so environment when we heard about science where when first we think about the physical environment 
so that also is of great concern in a science curriculum uh, but the first priority is given to learners environment where what is the background of the learner the characteristic of uh, learners uh, environment the environment in which learner exists uh, what kind of experience and exposure the learner should have and the learning environment that's the second uh, category of environment or a second dimension of environment the learning environment the context of learning so whether a learner is subjected only to within the classroom for theoretical uh, concepts so such kind of what are the factors that influencing the learning environment the social environment in which the learner exists the nature of the social interactions society in which the learner is living so these things uh, greatly influence the environmental validity of the curriculum whether the curriculum is properly linked with uh, the learner as well as learning environment as well as the physical environment of the learner in order to provide appropriate social environment etc for the uh, exposure to social as well as physical environment to a learner through the curriculum the science technology society the trio the linking between the science technology and society so that shall be properly incorporated in the curriculum because the science and technology is for the welfare of the society the sustainable existence of the society so that shall be properly infused in the curriculum then only we can say it as environmentally valid and the last type of validity is ethical validity and when we can ascertain a science curriculum as ethically valid then it should satisfy the sub criteria such as honesty objectivity cooperation freedom from fear and prejudice concern for life and living beings and conservation so these are some Uh, aspects these are some basic criteria uh, which should satisfy the ethical validity of the curriculum and uh, the curriculum shall be proposed so curriculum shall be developed in such a way that it should inculcate uh, these values such as different values such as honesty objectivity cooperation freedom from fear and prejudice concern for life and living beings and conservation so when we uh, analyze a curriculum when we analyze a science curriculum we have to consider all these six type of validities as a basic criteria and along with the sub criteria of each of the uh, particular validity to ascertain how uh, effective is this science curriculum to develop a proper scientific knowledge and to develop scientific values in uh, learners so that's all about this presentation thanks for watching